English roads, full of morons. Yes. Anyway, just heading home after work. You know, some people are really stupid when it comes to computers. It's basically, um, they've got a fault, and obviously, they don't know what they're doing, so they have to let get an IT guy to fix it. And the IT guy comes out to fix it. And then the person that's having the fault claims that they know no, like the IT guy knows nothing and uh, yeah, just doesn't treat them very well. So basically, if you're ever making an IT call, have a bit of respect for the person in the other bit. And I mean, they've probably dealt with the same problem about a million times, and you're just another stat, really. Yeah, ever since uh, me and my dad used to play on the Amiga. Gone up from well, also the Atari before that, but um, I've gone up from one stage at a time. Uh, basically, every type of computer that's ever been out, I've experienced it and know quite a lot about it. Obviously, I can't program the games and half the stuff. Although, on the Commodore 64, why did I say Amiga? There's Commodore 64 before Amiga, but but um, yeah, I mean, Commodore 64. Amiga, Atari, um, the really old Macs, PCs, oh, consoles, all that stuff. Um, on the Commodore 64, I programmed my own games, but you basically just take it from a book and type it in. That was the first time I really made like a game. It gives you a magazine, it'll give you like a bit of code, and you put that code into the uh, console, and then that generates a game for you, and then you wait an hour for it to bloody run. Oh, what is it with aviation nowadays? Just everybody wants to be out flying, and my battery's dying. Oh, I charged this not that long ago, what the hell? Anyway, I'll talk more about the uh, computer stuff when I get home. At least you get to see some of the aviation weird crap that's going on at the moment. So, I'll talk to you when I get home. Blah. Ooh, a classic. So yeah, I've been interrupted today by a lot of aviation things, um, Chinooks and uh, some random plane wanting to land and everybody that was in front of me, trying to cro cross, trying to cause an accident, um, as I was talking about computers, which is uh, nice. So yeah, I'll just get back on track, I'll make it quick, um, basically just I was explaining my experience. I've been with computers all day, uh, all day, all my life, um, from the very first Atari, all the way to Commodore 64, uh, Commodore Amiga, everything, all the consoles, pretty much, um, PCs, Macs, everything. I'm just obsessed with technology and uh, the things you can do with technology. So to do that, and then basically um, when you're helping someone, whether it be work or whether it not be work, and you're trying to fix the problem, however, the person that you're trying to help has no appreciation for what you're trying to do, um, and just acts like you don't know anything, that is a bit annoying. Even if it's something you've not come across, you're going to have more of a clue how to, uh, to solve the problem than somebody that has no idea and just bashes into uh, a Microsoft Word document or whatever. So, yeah, give it a rest. Um, I mean, it's kind of worse. You think a geek's bad, the fact that they claim they know everything about technology, but I think somebody that's not a geek is even worse because they're just completely stupid when it comes to computers and technology and I mean computers and technology like that is like a, a part of everyday life nowadays there isn't anywhere that you go that doesn't have a single computer in its network anywhere I mean it's like you can't run without them nowadays a lot of people say oh well I can because back in the days we never used such things blah 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 yuckity yuckity whatever all these companies would fall down and collapse and wouldn't be able to run 
Obviously, if the world just lost all electricity means because we got hit by a massive EMP by an alien race for a, an invasion that's going to start in 10 years from now or whatever, mankind would survive because mankind has survival instincts. But a lot of crap would go down if they didn't. Plus, all the governments nowadays suck anyway, so if all the technology goes down, they're screwed because... They say they can add one plus one, but half the time you've got your work, you've got to, uh, you've got to think you can, haven't you? Anyway, I um, obviously you can see I'm changed and whatnot. I have been home, changed, and um, talked to Jenny for a wee bit. A wee bit. Uh, I uploaded the short video about the plane. What the hell is this dude doing? He's like two bloody length. What are you doing? It's like everybody wants to distract me. Aviation and cars. Woo! Yay for transport! Yay for Business Stoke Football Club! Woohoo! Crystal Palace. They're playing Crystal Palace on the 15th, uh, on the, is it 15th of July or 25th of July? I don't know. I don't really follow football. It's just, um, I like playing a football, I play a football management game on Facebook called Top 11. Yeah, me and my colleague play that. Uh, we play that when we're at work, watch a match, and then go do our work and all that stuff. So, just something to pass by the t time while you're at work. But, uh, yes, I don't know what Jenny's doing this weekend. She hasn't really said what she's doing. She's probably going to be going out a lot because um, she's been studying studying a, a lot. I can't speak! Oh my god! Um, she's been studying a lot recently, so. She's most likely going to want to unwind this weekend, and we've got about, we've got less, just under two months, well no, it's about two months now to go until we find out about our visa application, whether it's accepted or declined, but we're not even going to ever mention that word again because it's never going to happen. It's going to get accepted, Jenny's going to be coming, uh, in the sense that she's going to be here, and uh, it's going to be good. It's gonna be good. So I'm gonna head off now. So just like Jenny always says, because we care, we hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Boop. And you're just another star, really. Ooh. It's a plane. Seriously, goddamn low. Where the hell is he going?